From Hunter's Point, at the top of Fremont Older Preserve, Silicon Valley looks like a seamlessly blended, well-connected region. But the valley is struggling with issues from networking to infrastructure to education, core issues that neither money nor innovation alone can solve. The region, identified by its superstars and startups, is struggling even asking for help. Silicon Valley doesn't have this long, glorious history of working in total partnership with the federal government. That's never been our strength. That weakness was most recently tallied in losses of government money for green technology. Dollars many in the valley felt was not just its due, but a slam dunk. For some reason, most of the stimulus funding for clean technology, battery technology, energy storage, all of those kinds of things, they did not come to Silicon Valley. The dollars are allotted according to a political process. And so Silicon Valley needs to get political. You're about to see it become very political. Silicon Valley has been described as this brilliant teenager. So brilliant it's already won the Nobel Prize, but who now needs to grow up and figure some things out. Unfortunately, there are few models to guide it, and even fewer politicians who seem able to deliver on an effective partnership. The innovation that we see in this valley is driven by small companies that are uh, you know, funded by VCs or are in, in incubators or, or started in garage. What we have to do really is uh, demonstrate that Silicon Valley matters. Um, if so if we can figure out a way to make what we do here more relevant to the state as opposed to something that's just fascinating and something you want to read about, uh, I think we'll do a lot better in expanding our influence but also helping the future of the state. Both candidates for governor are wooing Silicon Valley with promises that they best understand the Valley's problems, appealing to a region which is learning it's no longer enough to be the smartest in the class or the student picked most likely to succeed. The problems of the Valley are going to require political attention in Sacramento, and the question of who will be most sympathetic and most supportive remains unclear in a region which has spent much of its time investing in being apolitical and which realizes its financial engine is more closely tied to both Sacramento and Washington than ever before. Jennifer Fay, CalBuzz News, Silicon Valley.